dear students welcome to my channel dr v r pudli professor of management and economics in this video i am dealing with second case study under ebit and eps analysis ebit and eps analysis case study 2 akruti has rupees 2 lakhs of total investment and has the following capital structure one 6% debentures of rupees 50000 two 10000 equity shares outstanding at the rate of 10 worth of rupees 1 lakh three 5% preference shares of rupees 50000 four it is in the 20% tax bracket assuming two levels of ebit rupees 1 lakh 10000 and rupees 1 lakh 20000 calculate the change in eps dear students i have taken three columns in the solution table in the first column i had taken particulars and in the second column i had taken financial plan a in which ebit is taken as 1 lakh 10000 in third column i had taken financial plan b in which ebit is taken as 1 lakh 20000 in the first step we have to subtract interest from ebit for getting earnings before taxes under working notes i had calculated interest under financial plan a interest is calculated as 3000 by multiplying 50000 with 6% that is 6 by 100 similarly under financial plan b interest is calculated as 3000 by multiplying 50000 with 6% that is 6 by 100 in the solution table i had subtracted 3000 interest calculated under financial plan a from ebit of 1 lakh 10000 and derived earnings before taxes of 1 lakh 7000 similarly i had subtracted 3000 interest under financial plan b from ebit of 1 lakh 20000 and derived earnings before taxes of 1 lakh 17000 now we have to deduct taxes from earnings before taxes to get earnings after taxes in the next slide i had shown taxes calculation under financial plan a i had calculated tax as 21400 by multiplying earning before tax of 1 lakh 7000 with 20 by 100 similarly under financial plan b taxes were calculated as 23400 by multiplying earnings before tax of rupees 1 lakh 17000 with 20 by 100 in the solution table i had subtracted taxes of 21400 under financial plan a from earnings before taxes of 1 lakh 7000 and derived earnings after taxes of 85600 on the other hand i had subtracted taxes of 23400 under financial plan b from earnings before taxes of 1 lakh 17000 and derived earnings after taxes of 93600 from earnings after taxes we have to subtract preference dividend to get earnings available to ordinary shareholders in the next slide i had shown 
calculation of preference dividend under financial plan A and fi under financial plan B. Preference dividend is calculated under both plans as rupees 2500 by multiplying preference share amount of 50,000 with 5% uh, that is with 5 by 100. And in the solution table, I had subtracted 2500 preference dividend from earnings after taxes of 85,600 under financial plan A and derived earnings available to ordinary shareholders of 83,100. On the other hand, I had subtracted 2500 preference dividend under financial plan B from earnings after taxes of 93,600 and derived earnings available to ordinary shareholders as 91,100. For calculating earning per share, we have to take number of shares. Number of shares under both financial plans are 10,000. And by dividing earnings available to ordinary shareholders of 83,100 under financial plan A with 10,000, I got earning per share of 8.31. On the other hand, by dividing earnings available to ordinary shareholders of 91,100 under financial plan B with 10,000 number of shares, the earning per share is derived as 9.11. In the last row of the table, I had calculated change in EPS that is calculated as 9.62%. This calculation was shown under working note. Change in EPS is equal to 9.11 minus 8.31 by 8.31 into 100 that is equal to 0 0.8 by 8.31 into 100 that is equal to 0 0.0962 into 100 that is equal to 9.62%. Dear students, in this video, I had dealt with case study 2 under EBIT and EPS analysis. Thank you.